Asbury and White Britain on the front as the Eagles work it down low. Ariel Kirkwood banks it in on the right side for her first two points. Sit over to Alford on the left wing. Alford driving in. Pull up jumper right in the middle of the lane and she knocks it down for two. Points of the game and Moorhead State now trailing nine to seven. 5.23 to go as they find Humphreys down low and she banks it in on the right side for two. The rim, though they get the ball back. Jackson all alone on the left wing for three and she swishes it. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Nieves drives in on the right side, puts it up and it rolls in for two. She is fouled and now has an opportunity for a three-point play. As Moorhead State continues to lead 19 to 11 as Hereford drives in, ball is poked loose. And it's Ellie Joe Johnson up to Avery, cuts in on the right side, puts it up, and lays it in. Who takes it to the top of the key and finds Johnson, hands it off to Elson, and decides to knock down a three of her own. Johnson on the left block, puts it up, it's no good, gets her own rebound, and kicks it back out to Elson. Another three and another basket. Asbury set to inbound on the near sideline, and then set it's stolen away by Elson. Takes it on the right side and banks it in for two. The line takes a couple dribbles, puts it up, it won't go. Lala Humphreys with the putback. Her shot won't go either, but Ariel Kirkwood. Napier with the basketball gets tied up. Alford steals it away, driving in on the right side. She lays it up and in for an easy bucket. The iron. Asbury, though, with the rebound. Ball is loose. Elson behind the back pass to. Uh, Humphreys up to Schwarber on the right baseline, kicks it back out to Kirkwood on the left baseline. Shot fake, drives in, and lays it in. Driving in against Jackson, picks up her dribble, turns, and Kirkwood. An incredible block. Moorhead State works the ball outside. They find a cutting Ellie Joe Johnson on the left side, and she banks it in for two. As they find Haley Sutherland. And now it's stolen away by Kirkwood. She lays it up on the left side, and it's in for two. Asbury with the rebound. Sarah King one-on-one -on -one against Elson. She drives in, and Elson blocks the shot. Sutherland with her first points as Moorhead State quick transition offense finds Humphreys in the middle of the lane. She banks it in for two. In the third quarter, Asbury inbound, but it's stolen away by Kirkwood. She turns around, kicks it over to Nieves, back to Jackson. Shot fake, drives in, lays it up and in. 71-45 and Kirkwood with another steal. Passes it up the court to Nieves, bounces it to Humphreys, right side and counts the bucket. At the top of the key, 10 seconds on the shot clock as she rolls off the screen, puts it up for three and it's nothing but net. Alford, Alford looks right, Euro steps in. Shot is blocked, gets her own rebound, throws it back up, and makes the shot as she is fouled. Side the uh, three-point line, now it's stolen away. They pass it way up the court to Kirkwood, and she banks it in on the right side for two. Nevis finds Johnson, kicks it out to Elson. The three on the right baseline. Finds Jackson, left wing for three, and it's nothing but net. Kirkwood up to Humphreys, right side, lays it up, and in! Elson back to Alford, back to Elson on the right wing. She puts it up for three, and she makes it. And misses her second, three seconds on the clock. And there it is. Moorhead State with the decisive 107 to 55 victory. Moorhead State women's basketball with the 107-55 victory here today in front of over 2,500 at Johnson Arena. And Coach Greg Todd here with us. And Coach, first congratulations on the victory. A good victory for you guys after dropping three straight. Get back on a winning foot here. It was as great as a great atmosphere, I think, with as many students as we had here. It was a, it was a fun game for the girls. We now go on break for a few days. So it was a, a feel-good game. Uh, 
But Asbury, you got to give them a lot of credit. I think they're going to have a well, – they're having a great season, and I think their division will – do very well. Yeah, one of probably the top teams in NAI. You guys come in here today, those 70 rebounds for you guys. I think four players with double figure totals in rebounding. What uh, was it today? You, uh, they took a lot of shots, but you guys were very aggressive going after the miss, miss shots. Well, I think, uh, yeah, we just had a lot of energy. I think the, the uh, students brought a lot of energy and uh, girls uh, seemed to recover well. We, we played, I think, maybe the best game of the year at Valparaiso on Tuesday. Just had a hard fault loss and it was a good uh, good to recover from that. Now today you guys I think seven or eight makes from deep uh, from three point range. Was it good to see some three point shots finally drop through the nets? We did, we made uh, threes. I know uh, Jasmine uh, hit, hit several threes and Bree Jackson's been shooting the ball very well. And like you said, we had uh, some players with double doubles. We had two freshmen with double doubles, which uh, makes it nice and uh, I think uh, uh, in addition to that, Lala Humphreys it was with eight rebounds, so it was a, it was a good uh, performance uh, individually. Ellie Joe, I think, had 12, 12 rebounds, and uh, Ari Kirkwood's stat line was pretty crazy across the board. So it was, a, it was a good night for a lot of players. Yeah, Kirkwood, 18 points, 14 rebounds, I think six assists somewhere in there. Pretty big day for her. Now, where does your team go forward? Of course, one more big non-conference matchup. You guys are on the road at Baylor on the 20 or excuse me on the 30th but then we'll go into conference play so where does your you feel your team stands right now um, as we get ready for OVC play yeah I think we uh, we take a few days off we're we've tried to get better every week and I think I think we've done that to a certain extent uh, obviously coming back it makes it uh, fun to have a Baylor to, to go play on Monday uh, we, we uh, just have to strategically make that help us and, and uh, that's I guess the challenge of it but uh, having uh, two tough games at home uh, will will, uh, will be a great challenge but we're, we're looking forward to that but I think just making uh, such an inexperienced team grow is uh, is the part that uh, will make us better. All right, Coach, one, before you go, you want to thank all these uh, great students and for everyone for being here today? Not Yes, not only the students, but our administration for a lot of work coordinating this and making it a special day. But it was a very loud crowd and uh, definitely gives our program uh, just a tremendous experience. Thank you. Coach Greg Todd's Moorhead State Eagles with the win here today over Asbury, 107-55. to